Hi everybody, um, I'm going to show you how the radio works and how to set things up and the first thing we're going to do is make sure that everything's switched on. I know it sounds basic but sometimes you just got to check these things through. So, once you've got the wall switches on at the bottom, there's also four wall switches on the wall over here. Make sure these are turned on. Uh, turn on the dashboard over here with a little power switch in the top right. You'll tell when it turns on because the little green lights will start turning on up there. Make sure the monitor is turned on, which you can indicate with the uh, little light on the monitor obviously and turn the computer on at the base unit down there. You also want to want to turn on uh, the other computer on this side, uh, the tower for which is round the corner, rather awkwardly. Oh, that one's already turned on. That's useful. You can tell the little power light is just there underneath. And of course, make sure the screen's on for that one as well. And the screen again is there. Uh, keyboard and mouse. The keyboard and mouse for that computer should be here. And the keyboard and mouse for this computer should be here. When it comes to logging on to these computers, um, there is no password. You just press enter straight away and it should log you on just like that. And things will start loading up and start coming on. Okay. On this computer, when you want things to be broadcasting, you need to make sure that Winamp is open and on the Shoutcast source, the input tab on the input device is sound card input. That means that any information from this computer will be displayed and uh, broadcast through that computer. Uh, also, when you want to start broadcasting, all you have to do is press play on the Winamp control and then things will start streaming from this computer to that computer and then to the internet. To use the CD players, first you have to turn them on at the base unit over here. Quite simple, big massive power button. Operate the CD players is opening and close buttons are on the actual player. You open it up, stick a CD in and then close it up there. The CD player controls are up here on the top of the dashboard. All of this black strip is for the CD players. The one on the left corresponds to the one on the left on the CD players and the one on the right is obviously the one on the right. The CD player the controls themselves are fairly straightforward. Um, you've got, you can skip tracks by using the white knob. You'll notice that um, it clicks as you spin it around instead of smoothly so it's easy to go between tracks. Um, and play and pause to play and pause. If you're using a CD player and the CD isn't playing, check on the top up here because stereo line, the button, the black button there labeled stereo line, if it's pushed in, will play the CD player. If it's pushed out, as I've just shown there, it will instead play the third card in Myriad. So in for CD player, out for Myriad card.